Sunday, actually in about a couple of minutes, um, church on Zoom is about to start. So I'm going to do that. But when I got up, I washed the dishes. I didn't eat breakfast yet um, or have my coffee. I will wait for that. But yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting for church service to start. I think we have like two minutes and then I will log on and start that. And I have nowhere to go today. No plans to do anything. So I don't know if there's anything blog worthy, then I'll pull out the camera. But if not, then, you know. Amen. Yes. Right. Yeah. First Corinthians 15 and 41 says this. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. I'm about to eat my lunch right now and I'm catching up on YouTube subscriptions. So just an uneventful Sunday. So I am finally using my candle for the first time and it smells really good in here. It's the eucalyptus and it's wood wick as you guys can see. It has a very strong eucalyptus smell but not too overwhelming. It, it just smells really good in here. I love it you guys. And remember the gray sheets that I got? I'm finally using them you guys. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and it's pretty early. It's not even 8 o'clock. We're actually about to leave in a few minutes. We are going to the Winchester Mystery House. I have never been. Things are opening back up now because Sacramento is out of whatever tier it was in. And not saying that I'm going to go out and just like go everywhere. But I called. I read their guidelines. And I feel pretty safe to go. So that's what we're going to do today. So we have made it and you can't really see the house from where we're parked. We watched okay. creepy things about the house last night. We did, and mm -hmm. it made us even more anxious. Why are we so dark? Because we're in the shade. <laughs> right. Oh, we go in here? Yeah. Thought like the doors was gonna be open. Oh, kinda <laughs> scared me. This is the gift shop. Normally we wouldn't see this till after the tour. So, yeah. Maybe they don't open yet? I don't know. Well, I hope they're open. So I want to buy some stuff. Oh yeah, it's open. Just not to this side. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna find the restrooms. So we're going to the garden entrance first. So we're gonna do the garden tour first before we do inside the house because it's not our time yet to go through the house these are the stables and there's a rope right here so we can't go in this area but we can look in it interpret the lady's plan oh, Make that's sure the foreman's we house right here and the fruit drying shed then we fired up the heater underneath the shed it's a wood burner and it would get up to 200 degrees during the 30 hours it took to dry the fruit I had to rotate the rack several times so that the fruit would dry evenly. Huh. 30 hours? Well, hello there. My name is Warren. So it's a self-guided tour. We don't have a tour guide because of COVID right now. But we have the map. And it's going to be interesting, you guys. So this right here says the tank house. I'm sure we can't go in, but maybe we can look in and see what's going on. Oh, the light just came on. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see inside. Probably not. Mm. Flickering. There's someone here. Okay. See that? There's a bathtub over there. That noise over there, they, you can throw an axe. So there's ladies behind there doing like axe throwing.
Compounds? I don't think we can go in, the door's closed, so whatever that is. Oh, that was probably her carriage. A lot of areas are roped off. That way we can't go. Not says staff only there as well. More? It's the gas lighting shop. Aviary. There's like window frames in there. Bunch of window frames, panelings, oh, wow. shutters, stuff like that. Sure, all original, of course. Saying that this was all like there. You know? Yeah. Look at. Wow. Yeah, you got a penny to throw in there? I got a lot of pennies. One more penny? Just don't drop your wallet in there. <laughs> Make a wish. Make a wish, help a dream come true. All coins donated to Sharks Foundation. Yeah. Sir Winchester's oh. niece. Look, Savannah. All the coins are donated. Now this is really pretty out here. Everything is nicely manicured, unlike my backyard, which I never show you guys until it gets cut because it looks horrible. I thought this was actually in the cut somewhere, but no, it's right off of a busy street. Right there. Well, duh. So here are the front doors. Look at my camera. There we go. Here are the front doors of the house. This porch is really nice. I know it's old, but I like it. Look at that door, you guys. That's beautiful. I know. I know. And then that's the end of the garden tour. We are back to the entrance. Looks so real. And then a little tea set right here. I know, I heard that. Pretty cool.
These are replicas of what was there. Oh. See? This is way too tiny. I'm too big for this. Watch how step. Savannah, this is what we see. This was customized for Sarah because she was like four foot eleven or something like that. This is the room that she died in. are the original dishes. Probably not, but you never know. So we're done with the house tour. Now we're going into the gift shop. I did get pictures and I'll show you guys later. There are socks. All kinds of mugs and shot glasses. Okay. You already know.
my TV is muted. So we are back home. It's, what time is it? 7.30 and we did go to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk as you guys seen. And I'll give you guys my little quick review of the mystery house. Anyway, Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, we did not stay long. It was insanely crowded. They were not monitoring how many people went in there. It was so busy. You know how you go somewhere and when you walk, you have to turn sideways. You can't even walk straight because there's always someone there. And it's just, it was crazy. So Cheyenne got garlic fries that she loved. We went into a store and pretty much we were done because we were like, no, we're, we're not going to do this. Didn't feel safe. Anyway, the Winchester Mystery House, I absolutely loved it. I was a little nervous and apprehensive at first because last night, Savannah and I watched, well, we've seen a movie before, but it's a movie. But we watched like different videos. One YouTuber, I guess he got to have special access and he was able to stay overnight, him and a few other friends. And they had a tour guide that was there also showing him different rooms and telling him, you know, the experience that she had there. So from seeing that, I'm thinking like, is it a haunted house? Cause y'all know I like watching scary movies, but I don't want to be in one. I don't want to go to no haunted house or whatever, but we had already purchased the ticket. So we're like, well, we gotta go. But when we got there, it was fine. It was insane. The house, I loved it. It was old and I vlogged as much as I was able to. I really wasn't supposed to. I know you guys, but I wanted to show you guys that. Things that I got from Santa Cruz first. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so. I think it's so super cute. There's a glare. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. I'm gonna go put that on my refrigerator next time I get up. So I got this shot glass, Santa Cruz, California, and has little turtles on it. And it's so cute. I like how it goes from pink to orange. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but yeah, for my shot glass collection. I got this shirt. It just says Santa Cruz, California, um, established in 1885. So yeah, super cute. And you guys see, okay, I love V-necks, right? That's just me personally. So my girls started laughing because every shirt that I looked at, I'm like, oh, it's not a V-neck. And they were like giggling to each other. And so apparently to them, only older ladies wear V-necks. So y'all, let me know in the comments and you won't hurt my feelings because if I like something, I'm gonna wear it regardless. I've never heard that. So do you think V-necks are for older, ladies like me or is it for anybody i say it's for anybody i just like it whatever forget them now from the winchester mystery house when you walk in take pictures before you go into the actual house part where it is okay and we took four pictures two with the mask and two without the mask and I can go online and download my digital copy with the mask on if I want to but I don't want to do that because you know who wants pictures with the mask on but I mean I get it but anyway so I'm gonna show you our pictures of us in front of the house this is us come on focus okay and that's in front of the house and it comes in this little picture frame type thing right here just says the Winchester Mystery House and this is the other one so this is the one inside one of the rooms and the other one is of the house and this is how huge the house is and then it just gives a little you know talks about the house and um, when it was built and I guess stuff like that so yeah you guys took those pictures and okay another refrigerator magnet says the winchester mystery house i got this coffee mug which i think is super cute i love this i love the design and i actually seen a shot glass with this design and i grabbed it because it was super cute but then i seen these two shot glasses and this one okay this one has the house on it and the picture of the house even though this has the outline of the house so that the shot glass I don't know I just rather have had one like this and then when I seen this I know you guys are wondering why did you get two from the same place I just thought it was cute because it looks old and it looks like 
damaged and worn and you guys know I like stuff like that well most times sometimes and so focus yeah so it just says Winchester Mystery House and then same thing on the other side so that and then one more thing got this shirt that says Winchester Mystery House and no it's not a v-neck <laughs> I was looking for one that was a v-neck but it didn't have one so yeah and nothing's on the back so I think Cheyenne got another sweatshirt or something like that from Santa Cruz Savannah didn't get anything there and at the Winchester Mystery House I think Cheyenne got a one of them jackets that are like swishy what do you call those? I don't know. Um, she got one of those. And then Savannah got a shirt. So just little things like that. And if I remember later, they're in their rooms. If I remember later, um, I'll show you guys what they got. But yeah, you guys, we had fun. It was nice. Have you guys been to the Winchester Mystery House? Let me know. And did you guys enjoy it? So, I, okay, let me tell you. So I felt totally safe at the house because... I guess before, and I'm just guessing, well, they had tour guides that would take you through the house, you know, of course, is with a group of people, and because of COVID, you know, they can't do that anymore, so it's a self-guided tour, but, and at first I thought, I'm like, well, we're just going to be walking around not knowing what we're looking at. No, they had speakers, and they were telling you a little bit about each room, what was there, you know, stuff like that, what happened, stuff like that, right? So each person in your party, we were spaced out social distance and when you hear a chime that group that was ahead knew to move on to the next room so we could not leave the room we were in until we heard those chimes and that meant that the other group left already and it was our turn to go in there so I felt totally safe there was not a time that we were close to anyone in the house I felt very safe so yeah, if you guys were wondering about that, because I know it just opened back up and everything. So, but Santa Cruz, no. That was insane. That was insane. I mean, okay, I know we are, Sacramento is out of the tier we were in, but come on. It's not like Rona went away. It's still there. Okay, magnets are on the refrigerator. Okay, so I put the Santa Cruz one down here. And... The one from the mystery house right here so i only have room for one two more until i have to buy another one mm -hmm.